Hello everyone and welcome to this channel, Question and Research. Today I will talk about advent calendars. So the reason why I wanted to talk about advent calendars because it is the season for it. It's the Christmas season, the holiday season. And I also thought it was interesting so I wanted to look into it to see what it was about. So advent means arrival. I received my information from Vox Magazine and it gave an extensive um factual information about advent calendars and why they are important, how they started. So I will be taking my points from there. Now, advent calendars were adopted by German Lutherans in the 19th century. And also, they were a tool for parents and children. A tool for the parents and children is a strategy behind it because usually around this time in December, Children are excited about Christmas, Santa Claus, the coming of Jesus and his birth, if you're a Christian or a believer in Christ. So that gave um, children something to do and look forward to, to keep them at bay for stop asking about Christmas presents. Also, I didn't know about anything about an advent calendar until I was in college. I had to be around 20, 21 years old, and I was watching Bad Santa with... Um, Billy Bob Thornton. So he was the bad Santa. And the curly, blonde-haired, blue-eyed little boy had an advent calendar. And he showed it to him. So I thought that was pretty interesting, even though I never brought one until this year, 2020. And I have the Body Shop um, advent calendar. So this is what's behind me. So it has become... A growing popularity with advent calendars. So in 1953, Newsweek, that used to be a physical publication, now they're online. They had a picture of that uh, in 1953 of the president's grandchildren with the, being photographed with an advent calendar. That was President Dwight Eisenhower. I, like I said before, it was an ingenious tool to keep children at bay, so they won't always ask for things, ask for presents. Also, Cadbury had come up with an advent calendar. Mostly the advent calendars had like a piece of chocolate inside. So it always kept the interest of the child. And that was in 1958. Now, being a believer in Christ, being a Christian, in this country, in the United States, mainly people identify as being Christian. And two main holidays that people look forward to is Christmas and Easter, which we say Resurrection Sunday. So with that word Advent calendar, it's Latin for arrival, really does show and come with some rich meaning. So Christmas, people are reenacting the uh, reenacting the coming of Jesus as his birth is coming through the birth canal. He's coming through. You have Mary and Joseph and Jesus in the manger. And then Resurrection Sunday for Easter, we're wait, we are waiting for Jesus' arrival when he rose on the third day when he was crucified. So that was two main things that I got from the word arrival in this context when it came to the Advent calendar. Also, during like war times, the GIs would send over Advent calendars to their family. Another interesting notable that, that I looked at when I was reading the Vox magazine, that Nazi Germany wanted to change the layout of Christmas. So Nazi Germany is known as the fatherland. And so what they changed, instead of having Mary, Joseph, and Jesus in a manger, they had a wood cut out of a soldier and a king. So since, it's, it, since Germany is known for being the fatherland, that's that's basically their birth of their nation. So since Nazi Germany has some controversial relationships with other ethnic groups, they wanted to erase what was being said concerning Jesus, his ethnic makeup, ethnic background. So they made it, made it their own. Now, since Advent calendars are very popular among children, guess what? They have become popular with adults. So if you were an adult and you had an advent calendar as a child, why not have why not carry it on? Why not have one as an adult? So some famous, some well-known brands, this is a, a great branding opportunity for people to to explore or try other people's products. Like 
I do shop at the body shop. However, like, um, I don't always get all their, their products. I don't always get all their products. I get certain products for certain things. Um, so, Elf Cosmetics, Liquor Editions, NYX um, Diamonds, like NYX Cosmetics, also Jack Daniels, Tea and Coffee Advent Calendars, Coffee... Um, Coffee 24 Christmas um, collection is they have advent ca calendars for, for adults, for the adult taste. I don't need any more chocolate. I don't need any more sweets. So here are, the, here are a few things um, for my adult taste that I like with advent calendars besides sweets and baked goods. So I receive some mango. Well, this is grapefruit hand cream. We need it. It's winter time. It's more water based than more like a cream base. They also have banana conditioner and banana shampoo that I received. Also received some like hair ties. So it has empowered and be, be brave. Here are two more hand creams. One is mango. The other is more like shea hand cream. I like this one the best. Also, I received several different lip balms. I got mango here. That was today. Strawberry. And then I have the coconut. So, that's that. Also, had some body cream. I, I like getting their body cream. I also had um, some coconut body scrub. This is some shower gel. I also had shower cream as well exfoliating gloves a body a bath bomb hair clips some more shower cream this is almond and this is like I guess a wash rag I don't know exactly what they call this but I love I, but I love it I like it so I have used some of the products and this is a, like I said before this is a great marketing tool to get people's names out there. Also, is a gift every day leading up to Christmas if you celebrate Christmas. So, that's the video. Thank you. Like, subscribe, comment, and share. And I look forward to hearing from you again. And have a blessed day.